Alright, uh, well hello again Magic Community on YouTube, it's T1 Glistener Elf here, along with... Uh, bad Idea Drafting. Yes. The Bad Idea Half of Good Idea, Bad Idea Drafting. Aww. Um, so, you were uh, kind enough to feature me in one of your videos, so here you are in my 1500 sub. And so there's a link in the description to his channel. Go ahead and check it out, he does drafting and drafting and drafting. I draft, I draft a lot. Alright, so here we are playing a mono blue cube. My, it wasn't complete beforehand, but I've had to sell a few cards from it. But here's what's left, mono blue cube. And certainly I now have a lot of new blue cards in my collection. <laughs> no. Alright. I actually didn't buy the blue cards from me, I bought a bunch of other things though. I'd like to thank you for improving the value of my commander collection. By all means, absolutely. Now, to see who goes first, so in the in the spirit of blue, do you mind if we use some of your blue dice? No. Uh, which ones do you want to use? Um, all of them. That seems like it would be annoying to count up, but sure. Yeah, admit it. So take the zero off of this one. All right. And everything else is. I was about to say that, like the 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 one hundred <laughs> die is going to really determine it. Okay. 22, 8, 30, 2, 33. Okay, I'm feeling good. So the number beat is 33. Ugh. 20, 31. Okay, well, there 37, we go. 37, <laughs> 38, 45. Okay, so there we go. You, you'd like to be on the play? Uh, yeah, I think I'll be on the play. Okay. Alright, seven. Checking to make sure. Seven. Ooh. Okay. Um, I actually don't know if I can keep this. I am on the draw. That is true. Good idea, bad idea, mulliganing over <laughs> here. The name refers only to the drafting section, and we didn't draft, we sealed, so... We did seal. What do you say? I don't know your hand, I don't know your deck. What I mean... Oh, you... I'm keeping. Hmm. I thought you were asking me for help, and I have, I have no idea. Shoot. I just realized something had tribal um, synergy that I didn't wind up doing. Well, let's see how it would have worked. How it would have turned out. And you, and... Yeah, that was good to throw back. That was fine. Maybe a little heavy on the lands, a little light on everything else. Yeah. Turns out that was a, a good one to show. Pretty sure that six treats me better. Oh, we are doing a uh, regular mulligan, right? I assume so. It, whatever works. All right. So let's see. Here we go. Opposite problem. Point five. I am, yeah. That was a no lander. Ay ay ay. I should pile uh, shuffle, but saving time, you know. Yeah. What's up? I was gonna say I was thinking of like showing the camera my hand, but then I realized the screen is facing towards you so yeah, that you no. can stand up and there it's flipped around for you. Gotcha. So, I've got exactly one plan in this deck, in this hand. I don't think I have a choice. That's how multi multi five go works. Oh yeah, yay. All right, let's do this. Uh, this island go. This island go. Island? Mm-hmm. Jeskai Elder? Okay. Pass the turn. I'm gonna be edgy and not play an island. Oh! <sighs> hmm.
You want to play a flight spell bomb? Cool. Uh, it resolves. <laughs> and then I'll pass the turn. Island. Mm -hmm. uh, attack with your Skyhelter. Pop it and pay the blue. Mm -hmm. um, You have it flying? Alright. Just to draw a card, basically. Yeah, now I understand exactly what was happening there. Uh, yeah. So you take one. I do. Uh, no I didn't, tricks? I, no, nothing. No tricks. I will go ahead and resolve the thing. I get to draw first and then discard. Mm -hmm. uh, this island. Yeah. And I will pass the turn. I hope that tells me something about your hand. I hope. Hit it with Ojutai's breath? Yep. Pass turn. Hmm. Does not untap. That's right. Draw a card. Island. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and give you a target. You just got one scout. Makes sense. Pass turn. Yep. Last turn. It's always Will Bender. <laughs> this one taps. Mm -hmm. Where's this factory? So I want to test the rules interaction right now yeah. and hope to God that this works how I want it to. And hope to God. Well, that can't be a Will Bender, I think. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, Nimbus Naya Nimbus bestowed on Jeskai Elder. Now, because it's bestowing, it is not a creature now, right? So the prowess does trigger. It's an aura spell. So, yes, it's treated as being a non... I think it's treated... Yeah, it's an aura spell. Not a yeah. creature. Okay. Yeah, I, I believe that it does. I wish that I knew for, with certainty. I mean, we can go check the almighty Google, but I'm pretty certain it is not a creature one, at this point. Plus two, plus two. Okay. Yeah. So it is now a 3-4 and then prowess trigger, so it's now a 4-5 with flying. Yep. Uh, and it will... Uh, did you have any response to the no, next I time? No, I Alright. Uh, I will swing him with the Jeskai Elder. I'll take four. Alright. Uh, I'll go ahead and draw a card. Mm-hmm. Ooh. I saw nothing, fortunately. I saw uh, nothing. I like this hand. Why didn't I get something that I wanted to ditch? Um, this might be a mistake. Discard Coral Barrier. Okay. And pass the turn. So you know what I did before the start of this video? I silenced my cell phone, apparently. Call what happened just we call what happened right there. A reason for the um commenters to happen. Uh no tricks, no blocks. Mm -hmm. I assume you have nothing that you're doing. You know, detain just right. the elder. Containing just to make sure I remember. Can't attack, block, or activate abilities. Right. And you get to draw a card. That's it. Pass turn.
cephalid calcium. Mm -hmm. Uh, Nick's board and Triton bestowed onto Jessica Winscow. Uh, in response, I'll snap it. Alright. If it becomes a creature again. Yes. So I so, think it just hits the yard, right? Uh, I don't remember how that works. Because the spell's targets made illegal, so it can't resolve by, uh, by game rules. I believe you're right. Man, the commentators are going to love this one. I know, right? I'm sorry. Eh. I ought to know that, actually. I should, too. I drafted I drafted um, Theros block a bunch. I just... I don't remember how it works. There weren't good counterspells in Theros block by the time I got there. It becomes a creature again if it's not attached to a creature. It becomes a creature again? Mm, Do we want to pause the video and go check it out? Um, yeah, just to make sure. Right. Let's go for it. So we found out the answer to it. It does indeed remain a creature, or com it comes in as a creature instead, and... The bestow does trigger prowess if you cast it for the bestow cost. Ta-da! So we were playing, we played part of that right. All right, and that's your turn? Yep. Trepanation Blade? Mm-hmm. Equip? Mm-hmm. Combat? Mm-hmm. And so now I'm milled right now and it will... Until you hit a land. Okay. So it's a uh, 2-2 two -two still? It's a 3-2 now. It's a 3-2. Let me double check that. Uh, plus, uh, oh, plus one, plus out. Yep, for each card revealed this way. Then I play plus a real card. Alright. Yeah, we'll go ahead and block. Okay, we'll trade. Yep. Uh, it was a Void Mage Apprentice. Alright. Out of curiosity, why didn't you block with the Jeskai Elder with four toughness? Uh, was worried that you had a trick, and I'd rather have the Jeskai Elder over the Nyxborn Triton. Fair. I don't have Gutshot in my Mono Blue Cube, though. But fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, some... Uh, you can't submerge... I don't know. Um, pass turn? That's it? How many lands do you have right now? Six, I see? Yep. Okay. Hey, the combo in hand. Uh, Mishra's Factory. Oh. <laughs> That's brilliant. Love the flavor. Mishra and Urza working together again. Uh, Phyrexian Metamorph? It will copy the trepanation blade. I am okay with this. I am not okay with this. Trepanation blade onto Jeskai Elder? Yes. It will swing in. Oh! Uh, it counts as a creature when it's when it's cast, so prowess did not trigger. Just right. one? Uh, so that is two, four damage. Mm -hmm. And I will go ahead and loot. And I will discard this Jeskai Wind Scout. Okay. And I'll pass the turn. This is Spellfist. Mm hmm. They're together again. <laughs> pass turn. Uh, good combat. Pester mine. Uh, yep. Tap down Jeskai Elder. Yep. Main two. Yes. Um. Three, four, five, six. With a wheel, Aerialist. With a wheel, Aerialist. <laughs> 
<laughs> you just got the prowess deck. Good god. Okay. That's a card, yeah. Pass the turn. Oh, 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 oh. That's awesome. I don't remember where that joke originally came from. Man I... and wife. I don't even I don't even find River Real now I can't do it. <laughs> River Wheel Aerialist to be that hard to pronounce, but I believe it was just a joke that started on someone's stream. Mm. How many cards are in my graveyard? Five? Cool. The odds that one of the cards I hold in hand is Spell Pierce. With my luck, pretty decent. It resolves. Trigger. Yep. Yep. <laughs> That's gotta be it, I'm afraid. Cool, got that out of the way for you. Land. Go to combat. Yes. Why'd I do that? Why am I bad at this game? You can back it up if you need. Nah, I already did it. Go to combat, attack with... Um, Alright, so he's currently a 3-4. Treplade triggers. <laughs> four. Okay. I will go ahead and use Jessica. Um, so swing for four. I, I do. take it. Yeah. Cool. Change nothing. Woo! These trepidation blades. Wow. They just don't make them like they used to. We will spend three. And claustropho claustrophobia yep. does not untap. Okay. And we'll pass turn. Two cards left in hand. Yes. Get that. Well, first. Oh. It's the beginning of combat, right? Or is this attack? Uh, this will be at beginning of combat since okay. I've already hit my threshold, I believe. Uh, yeah, seven or more. Cool. So, yes. It's going to combat. Mm -hmm. I will pay four to play into the Royal with the kicker. Draw a card after bouncing it? Okay. Yep. You're good. Hmm. Getting there on the back of a Jeskai Elder. I know, right? Yes, turn. Draw a card. Spend a blue. Just double checking to make sure we didn't screw something up. Three, six, eight. Yep. I'm not bad at math. Eight. Uh, go ahead and use Cephalid Coliseum's ability. Draw two, dis or draw three, discard three. Yeah. Mega loot. Two, three. 
equal to three. Uh, yep, yeah, no, that's exactly how I want to do it. Discard the aerialist island island. Okay. Bone splitter. Yep. Um, prowess trigger. Mm hmm So he is now a four. He's she, I think. She, yeah. yeah, sorry. You're good. But prowess trigger. Um, That's lethal. Yep. Swing in. Okay. That'll do it. All right, this deck works as intended. Uh, what would I have milled out of curiosity? Oops, sorry. You would have milled a, an island. I of course. Was, yeah. Or an island. <laughs> Trepidation blade. Ugh, why? Bottom of the library, where it does no good. So I'm not exactly sure to decide here. Yeah, let's not mulligan into five again. That's yeah, that's no, that's, one. that's fair. Help me, chat. What did I see from him last game? <laughs> I also just realized I'm an idiot and screwed up how the rule of thirds work. It's that you want... Well, sorry all my art teachers. None of that sank in after eight years. Uh, eight years? Oh dear. Seven years, however long it's been since high school. Oh, seven's fine, but eight, now that's, <laughs> that's unbearable. All right. Sorry, I just want to get... Want to exactly. make sure it's good and shuffled. Fair enough. So I'll be on the play this time as well. See if I can get there. Maybe. Alright, come on, deck. Treat me well. Don't treat me poorly. Come on, deck. Heart of the cards. Heart of the cards. That's a different game! Yes, we know. We know. Oh, I'll this hand stinks. Uh, I can't. Sorry. Yeah. In the meantime, I'll, I'll show off what I have. Or maybe show off is too strong of a way of putting it. See, the difference between us is that you edit this video, so you get to um, see exactly what I flashed the camera earlier, uh -huh. and I will never get to know exactly what you flashed just then. Unless I actually go and watch your videos and that's give it. me the ad revenue. Hey, that's a good way of uh, it. Yeah, every little bit is appreciated. Block. You. I used to, and then I had my own. Well, I I started it before. I stopped doing ad block before I uh, started my I, own channel. I think I white. Much. I think I've whitelisted you too because I watch way too many independent people. Oh, um, gotcha. But I I had to ad block for like three specific sites whose ads at best would um, crash mm. um, flash and ruin my day. Well, and then like at worst it would constantly crash the browser and just made you know the internet unusable unless I want to stop using those sites. I gotcha. So like I'm very conservative in how I add block because I feel bad doing it most of the time. Understood. Um, let's see how you fare. Yeah, I think we are rocking a pretty similar strategy over here. Oh yeah, this is keepable. Alright, here we go. Round one. Round two. Oh yeah, round two, yeah. Past turn, you're right. I'm so used to saying round one. Factory? Top? <gasps> yes. Past that's, turn? That's a keepable hand, oh yeah. Last turn. Uh, untap, upkeep. Yes. Let's see what's at the top of my deck. Those cards go there. <laughs> oh, what? Uh, it is oh, yeah. though. It's all good. Island. Mm -hmm. Bone splitter. Mm -hmm. Pass turn. Well, you're tapped out. Pester might? Mm-hmm. Pester? Uh, you going to tap or untap something? I mean, what does it matter? I suppose... I, there's always value in untapping a land, but... Okay, okay, <laughs> I'll... Might as well. Um... Draw. 
island. Uh, that would make me sad. Yeah, there's the choice between playing around counter spells by doing it when you're tapped out, mm -hmm. or waiting till your turn so I can tap a land down and hopefully hold you back a bit. Academy Chancellor? Yep. Rain. Hi, Rain. Uh, pass that's, turn. That's not fun to deal with. Well, I encourage you to try. <laughs> I'm sure. Combat? Mm-hmm. No responses. Okay. And... Uh, 18. 18, I'm sorry. It's all good. Not, not Exarch. That's the one power. I'm not used to playing against Pestermite unless there's 20 of them on the board. <laughs> Makes sense. Oh dear. Oh dear. Um, pass turn. Stop on upkeep. Alright. Uh, I'm not doing anything on my upkeep currently. Can I mana short you? Um, in response, you're going to go ahead and. This doesn't stop being a land when it becomes a creature, right? It does not stop being a land. That's correct. Alright. Uh, so first thing we're going to do is top. Makes sense. They can stay in that order. Um, second thing we're going to do is we are going to tap that to make this a creature. Mm -hmm. And we're going to make him a 3-3. Three, three. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then we draw, yeah. Why not, right? Island? Mm-hmm. Uh, bone splitter on rain. Mm -hmm. And yeah, we'll beat him for three. 17. Pass the turn. Any chance you want to bounce rain? I know what that beep does. I know. Swing in for two. Sixteen. Battlefield Thaumaturge. Each instant or sorcery I uh, and sorcery I cast costs one less for each creature it targets. And All it's right. Heroic uh, makes it hexproof. How have I never seen that card before? Oh. I, I mean, I get that it's a rare, but how have I never seen that card before? Pastor. You are going to do anything on my upkeep? Uh, not this time, no. Oh yeah, that's there. Coliseum. Mm-hmm. One, two, three, four. Take pick one. one. Uh, Nimbus Nyad on the rain. Now it has flying. Ugh. Now it has flying. Now it is a 5-3. Mm-hmm. And it will swing in. Ouch. I basically, I want to suit up Brain until you have to deal with her. Yeah. Pass turn. What is it your, um, your non-basic do? It just bounces just itself? just bounces itself. Yeah. If I have anything that. with landfall, then that'll be pretty sweet, but... Uh, I assume Hedron cra Crab is somewhere in this cube, though we never saw oh, it. Oh, yeah. Combat? Mm-hmm. Yep. I do nothing. Yeah, I assume... If I found Hedron Crab, I might be on the mill deck right now. <laughs> I feel like e each of us got, like, four cards to the mill deck, so if our pools had been combined, there would have been a great mill deck in there because it wasn't, like... Yeah. Because it was spread out, it... 
don't know, this cube seems like it'd be a lot more interesting if we had, um, if, with the more, with more cards going through there. Pass turn. Untap. Uh, on upkeep. We will go ahead and send a blue mm -hmm. to use the top. Okay. Island. Mm -hmm. We will spend a blue to animate the factory. Mm -hmm. uh, swing in. Combat. Beginning uh, go to, combat. Go to combat. Sorry. Frost breath. Frost breath. So uh, rain trigger. Uh. Uh, that triggers before I have to respond to that, right? Yeah, it's because uh, yes, one of the targets. So yeah, draw a card. You draw another because she's enchanted. Uh, that that is, is yep, that is true. So you draw two. Yep, and I just realized I screwed that up. Otherwise, I probably should have gone looking um, for what was at the top of my deck. Well, um, in response, I'm going to tap him for mana and go ahead and top now. Okay. And then both of those tap and don't untap for a while. Mm -hmm. And then speaking of not untapping for a while, we'll go ahead and go down to 10. And we will claustrophobia your pestermite. And that will end my turn. Rescind your claustrophobia. I'm trying. I think you might get there this time. Combat? Mm hmm. Down to six. All right. Pass turn. This doesn't untap. Oh, it, it does. It's no. It, it's no longer a creature now. So. All right. I will take your word on that wrong. She still does not untap. She though. does not. That's correct. Claustrophobia for a second time. This time, that's got to be good. Maze of it. Oh, oh, you mean? Uh, animate Mishra's factory. Mm -hmm. Go to combat. Yes. Swing for two. Or. Probably should have done that differently. I should have or you should have. I probably should have. Alright. Okay. It uh, is late here. Yeah. Well, it's a, you know, somewhat. Late-ish. Late-ish, yeah. And that will be the end of my turn. Consecrated Sphinx. Boo! <laughs> Combat? Yep. Get out of my combat. <laughs> Get out of my house. All right. That to me. Back to you. Now she untaps as a 5-3 in the air. Yep. Uh, how much do I have? I've got six. We're going to go ahead and top, top on upkeep. Okay. Oh, right. Oh, right, I was about to draw that. Um, we'll keep that as is. We'll draw a card. Um, go to my declare attacker step. That's good. At the start of that. At the start of declare attackers? Yeah, so before I declare attackers. Oh, it's beginning of combat. Yeah, beginning of combat. Thank you. Gotcha. Um, Unfortunately, that's the way how that has to work. Um, taking one off of that. Mm -hmm. Wait. Pause. Okay. I spent one. Yes, for the top. For the top. I still have all that untapped. Mm -hmm. So I don't have to tap the cephalid. One of my islands apparently stuck together. Um, we're going to go ahead and 
use into the Royal and the Consecrated Sphinx. Okay. Draw a card. Mm -hmm. um, now declaring attackers. Yes. Swing in. Go down to five. Play this island. Mm -hmm. And we will pass the turn. You are so late, it's not even funny. I mean, the good news is that if you replay the Consecrated Sphinx, you're going to get two more draws. That's right. Shit, I missed that trigger. <laughs> Best turn. Uh, end of your turn? Yes. We're going to top. Okay. See what's at the top. That can go up there. It has been yeah. quite a day of... <laughs> Go to untaps. Yes. Upkeep, nothing to do. Draw your No! There we go. You would have been a little bit helpful earlier. Uh, yes. Okay, yeah, that's good. Spend three. Frost links. Tap down. Good guess. Alright, All right. well that was fun. Yeah. Another draw doesn't really help. An Aether spell bomb. That's... and a land. Uh, so I would have hit my land drop last turn and played um, an Aether Spellbomb, which I still need another mana to bounce it, so it doesn't really... You Honestly, know. that Aether Spellbomb would have been the scariest part about that. <sighs> now, it, now, you still draw two cards, though, from rain. Yeah, right? no, that's it's true, but... I, yeah. Um, so, honest confession on this one, Okay. there were zero camera spells in this deck. Yeah, I didn't have too many myself. I think that's because of how I shuffled the yeah. cube. It was, the cube started out in an order. I had all the creatures together, all the counterspells together, all the cantrips together, all the enchantments, da da da, -da. Mm -hmm. And I tried to, like, shuffle them around and apparently just did not do a good enough job of it. I mean, I still had fun. I'm, it was just, like, my only counterspell, I believe, was Mana Leak. Yeah. So I'm playing mostly a tempo-style deck. The Delver came way, way late, but I had a Delver in that last hand. Oh. Uh, playing cards like Delver, Elusive, mm -hmm. Hestermite, Deceiver Exarch is in here. Ideally, what would have been awesome to have The happen. Hour of Need! And I had the Battlefield Thaumaturge, yeah. which they're beautiful together. Yeah. Especially, especially, especially with the Skywise teachings. So just turn a bunch of 2-2 two -two flyers into 4-4 four -four flyers. Yeah. Um, I mean, so yeah, I basically had the same thing where I was playing Tempo, I've got some control cards in here. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Rain, who I just felt like was a must, de must deal with. She is, The yeah. top, for obvious reasons. The Bone Splitter to give my things value. Mm -hmm. uh, Maze of it again, in the control pile. Yeah. Um, and, you know, like, ways to make things unblockable or evasive. Um, the Metal Morph, just because the Metal Morph. Like, there's a lot of cards in here that um, are just sort of, well, these are good cards, so why not run them? Fair. Um, my my reign is Ninja of the Deep Hours, and I never got you online. That would okay. be so. Um, much earlier, much earlier, while we were doing the sealed part of this, mm -hmm. um, I was said that I had to go look up a rules interaction because I was curious of how two things worked, and I wound up removing the um, interaction. I had the snapback, by the way. I never got to draw that. Ooh. But I look. So the rules interaction that I wasn't sure about, um, because this seemed counterintuitive, was that I did have this Mistblade Shinobi. And I had in my sideboard that I wound up cutting the Cathedral of War. Ah. And I have never played with Exalted in Ninjutsu. And despite the fact that it's one of the few times, like, it's some of the few abilities where attacking, um, where, like, ability cares about attacking, they interact not at all because That's by the right. time you ninjutsu, the mm -hmm. exalted triggers have already gone. That's right. And, and then, then you just a bunch of stuff that Rain absolutely loves. Uh, tap down, tap down, tap down, tap down. Well, yeah, because there's no, like, hard removal, because it's blue, there's no hard removal. Mm -hmm. I think I had the one piece of hard removal, which I didn't run because it removes your creature. I had, so... Uh, detain, tap, bounce, bounce, tap, bounce, bounce, tap. <laughs> I had lots I of these. Mana short is time walk. Sometimes. Not yeah. Long, but sometimes. Sometimes. Probably should have been cut when I realized that you weren't on a, a great big control deck. Yeah. Um, if I had cut it, 
it probably would have been for I kept the flight spell bomb. Um, I might maybe would have kept that around, but uh, honestly, probably grip died. Mm. What were you about to say? You said this was a cube full of one ups, but it seems I also have a grip tied. Yeah. The, oh. Oh, I must have missed the uh, parts different. Yeah. And so just, it happens. Yeah. So I need to take one of you out. Actually. Good catch. Good catch. Yeah, it's supposed it's, to be single turn. Yeah. But yeah. So I have some bounces. I think this one scares, gives me nightmares more easily. Yeah. So I think for you're probably the one getting cut. Actually. So. I had like an entire bounce package, including the grip tide, which I didn't run. Mm -hmm. uh, technically, the misplayed Shinobi. Yeah. Um, then I had some tap downs. I had the Maze of Ith. Um, and then I had a bunch of flyers so that I had ways to get the misplayed Shinobi out if I ever got a chance to get him out. Oh, um, I had the Coral Barrier for the 1 1 Blue Squid. I was never sure like how important he. Oh, um, yeah, I'll talk about those in a second. Mm -hmm. I was never sure about how important the squid was going to be. Because um, the one thing that blue can do is bounce, and mm. that acts as permanent removal on a token. Mm. Um, and I like a couple of cards that interacted well with um, comes into play abilities, but these two were like the only important comes into play abilities I had. Gotcha. And like maybe removing the undying counter from the scab, but that that's like a questionable include in my mind. Um, particularly because I had a lot of ways to suit up in this deck. Um, you would ways you, ways you, to give things flying. I had um, the Nimbus Knight, and I also had the Amphim Path Mage, so that if I need to get the Shinobi out, I could force through someone. Okay. And I had Palladium Mur to act as a really bad mana rock that I never saw. Sorry. Which, I mean, it happens. You're see, not going to see every card in your deck. Check this out. Chase is a right shirt. Mm -hmm. Curse of the Bloody Tome. All right, so we're now, twist. We're, now take a depth. we're now comparing our um yeah codex shredder, increasing confusion and dampen thought. These are my only mill cards, and you that's, said you had that's a card. that's a lot that's a lot better than the ones I had. Um, I had the mind sculpt. Mm -hmm. I had the grind clock. Good. Oh God! Wow. I had that could be spiral. a mill deck on its own. Psychic spiral. Okay. I had psychic spiral, and then I had I thought I had one more that I don't remember what it was. Um, and it's like already gone from my head at this point, so mm -hmm. it might just be gone forever then. Aw. Now, grind I say it could be a mill deck on its own, but in the presence of all of these bounce spells, maybe not. Yeah. Um, but that yeah. honestly wasn't the reason I was worried about doing it. So gotcha. the thing I do feel a little bad about was that I had a bunch of cypher guards mm -hmm. that I couldn't decide like how to value them because I never played. Um, Cypher, gotcha. and I just, just decided not to include any of them, and I feel like that may have been a mistake. On so, the other hand, like, they don't interact well with Prowess because they have to deal damage. For so, the, uh, what's... Yeah, for the seven of these, mm -hmm. I had two, like, big wall spells, or wall creatures. And then there's a Raven Familiar and a, uh, some, there's Omen Speaker, um, putting the cards out there that try to get me into mm -hmm. what I need. Somewhere around Merfolk, what were you called, actually? can't believe I can't remember you. Oh, so way, way at the start of this video, I talked about how there was a tribal synergy that I um, didn't notice. Yeah. Nyxborn Triton is a Merfolk. I forgot about that. Mm -hmm. I had, like, three cards. One of them, one of them was a way that would let me tutor up another Merfolk. And I wound up cutting all of them, not because, like, the, like I decided that Merfolk um, travel would be bad, because, like, I didn't really have the Merfolk travel. Yeah, you are. But, like, all of them independently, I just said, uh, these aren't good enough in this deck. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. that makes sense. Yeah, no, I, there were a lot of good cards. These, I guess this was sort of the base of the mill deck. The seven mill cards, two big blockers, and then some hand selection from you guys, and Sight Beyond Sight. Alright. And that was, that still left me with 27 slots, and I, I didn't think I could do it from there. Um, you said 7 mil plus... Well, Skywise Teaching gives me a, a backup plan. Consecrated yeah. Sphinx goes in because it's Consecrated yeah. Sphinx. And then from there, that's still 15 more. Well, I mean, you have to have some amount of lanes in there, so... Yeah. 
Oh, uh, I mean, we're at 15 in the deck I'm in, so, yeah. so 25 more. Maybe laying in Blade Trap and Ratchet Bomb? There's a Ratchet Bomb in here. Uh, that's pretty silly. So that's 23 left. Well, I mean, you still have to include 17 lands, so... Front line. I mean, in a blue cube, I think you can actually, in some cases, afford to go a little higher than... Uh, yeah. Than I knew that this deck couldn't because I had a 5-drop and two 6-drops. Mm -hmm. um, and I had the Urza's Factory in there in case this game got incredibly gummed up. Yeah, that's that's fair. I had the two factories and I forgot to do anything fun with them. I wanted to make this work so much. I was I looking thought... through and looking through <laughs> and looking through to see if there was some way that I could make High Tide work in this. You also never got to see the best, the very best part of my deck. I never drew it. Fate Stitcher. What's the Peter? best card? Island. No, no, read it. What do you mean, read it? Oh, ter it's Italian? Yes, it is an Italian, it is a foil Italian Meriden um, island. Okay. I found it in my collection while I was looking for basics and was greatly amused and said, I need to sneak this into my deck somehow. Okay, I, I wasn't crazy. Uh, the reason I didn't run this mm -hmm. is because I don't actu actually have a win condition from there. I don't have a, uh, a Blue Sun Zenith yeah. or something like that. I did say that I had a lot of cards that would let me draw cards, yeah. but I didn't have the payload for them. Mm -hmm. Like, I really would have loved to have a Lab Maniac, and then I would have gone for a crazy combo deck. That would have been awesome. Again, like, if you had the if you had the Blue Sun Zenith and the Lab Maniac, I totally would have run that deck. Oh my god. Yeah, um, the, this, we'll get uh, two more people in, have them draft it with us, and that would be pretty yeah. cool, I think. We can actually get a, an archetype a little bit better than these sealed decks can afford us. Uh, but thank you very much. I yeah, no, thank you. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Um, thank, uh, thank you for having me on the video. Absolutely. You guys should totally um, donate to his Patreon because hey. it, he's an awesome guy and. Thank you. I appreciate. You guys it. and he makes good content. He makes good content. <laughs> I'm just here. I'm, all right, let's I, I made content? Yeah. You, you're just getting started. It's understandable. Get you a face cam and all that jazz. All that jazz.